Okay. Please activate your cameras, my dear students. We're going to finish with the activities on the book and the workbook, I'm sorry. So I am going to share you the screen to finish this in the same page we were. Okay, you did this. Uh, we did reading, now go to pass the final exercise. This is listen to the article, choose true or false, okay? So in this, we are going to remember the last reading we read in the book. ¿Cuál fue la última lectura? About uh, life, in, life in other planets. Me parece que se llamaba la lectura. Bueno, la, la que hablaba de los astronautas y la vida fuera del sistema solar, ¿cierto? So, here we are going just to choose true or false and that's it. For the first one, Copernicus and Galileo work didn't change people's beliefs until the 20th century. Dice si Copernicus y Galileo, este, el trabajo de ellos no cambió las creencias de las personas hasta el siglo XX. Vamos a descubrir si esto es verdadero o falso. Number two. Thermophiles live in the environments with high temperatures. Si los termófilos viven en lugares con altas temperaturas. Number three, robots have Profe. conducted experiments on Martian soil. Mande. La pregunta ya tomó lista. Todavía no. Ah, ya. Okay. Ya, yeah, robots have, dice si los robots han llevado a cabo experimentos en tierra de Marte. Y la última, number four, work on the atlas has already begun. Si el trabajo con el atlas, este es una, una, una nave espacial, ¿no? Ah, ya ha comenzado. So, we are going to listen the audio, try to understand and choose true or false. That's it. Please pay attention. The work of past astronomers like Copernicus and Galileo changed people's perceptions of what lies beyond Earth. But it wasn't until the 20th century that man finally got into space. Now, scientists feel they are due to discover something even more amazing, extraterrestrial life. In the mid-1900s, scientists came upon a new class of organisms that they later dubbed extremophiles because of their ability to live in extreme conditions. There are several types, and each has its own hostile environment that it is ideally suited for. As an example, thermophiles are abundant in the hottest areas of the world, like hot springs and volcanoes. Extremophiles are attracting considerable attention from astrobiologists because they may hold the key to finding life on other planets. Prior to their discovery, many believed that life could only develop on places like Earth. Thanks to these entities, signs of life are being looked for on planets with radically different atmospheres from our own. When it comes to looking for life in outer space, the obvious first choice for exploration is Earth's neighboring planet Mars. The first Mars landing happened in 1976 and was carried out by two probes launched from the U.S. One of the goals was to search for life through examination of the planet's soil. The experiments run by the robots returned negative results, implying that the land surface was barren. However, some scientists have re-evaluated the data, and they believe modern analysis shows biological reactions did occur during the tests. If their assessment is accurate, it would mean some kind of Martian life form did or does exist. There is hope that the newest mission to Mars, the Curiosity rover, will prove the validity of their results. The curiosity isn't the only thing that might stumble across life on other planets. In 2009, 
the Kepler spacecraft commenced its mission to estimate the number of planets in the Milky Way by measuring light patterns. The project was originally slated to end in 2012, but researchers have decided the traveling Kepler is to continue its trip until it has the chance to survey a more significant portion of the galaxy. But that's only the beginning. The At Last, a powerful telescope that will have the capability to view those newly found planets, is in its initial planning stages. Once built, it will use the collected data to locate those celestial bodies and observe whether they are supporting life. Because such advanced technology is needed for its completion, the group working on it won't have finished until at least 2025. Scientists in the space field are hoping they will leave a lasting legacy with their research. However, it will be many more years before any definitive information is gathered. Until then, what could be found someday exists only in people's imaginations. Okay, so that's it. Now we are going to check if the statements are true or false. So the number one, what is it? True or false? False. The first one is true, okay? The first, I'm sorry, yes, yes, it is correct. It is false. Mm -hmm. Copernicus didn't work, but it didn't make you okay. See, es falso, chicos, la primera, number two. Thermophiles live in environments with high temperatures. True or false? True. Okay, that is correct, that is true. Number three, robots have conducted experiments on Martian soil. That is, that is true, uh-huh, that is true. Y la última, <clears throat> work on the Atlas has already begun. True. true. Entonces, solamente la primera es false y las demás todas true. Mark this, please. So, that's the end. No more exercises in the workbook for unit 10. Hasta ahí vamos al día, chicos. Estamos al día ya con, con lo que es Workbook y Students Book. Estamos hasta la unidad 10. En las horas de texto, por favor, les va a quedar la actividad de completar la plataforma. La plataforma de inglés la voy a revisar al final de este parcial, que es el último. Eh, Profe, revisaré, dígame. Pero, ¿y los que tenemos ese problema que usted sabe...? De sí, la plataforma. de la contraseña y bueno, no sé, lo que pasa es que como ustedes fueron quienes crearon el usuario y la contraseña, son ustedes mismos quienes deben recuperarla y tienen que poner en el botón de Forgot Password y hacer el proceso de recuperación, porque yo no tengo sus contraseñas, sus usuarios, créanme que lo he intentado, ya llamé también a soporte técnico. Ok, so now we are going to continue, uh, I think this is do it. Este ya lo hicimos, ¿verdad? Vamos por acá. Ok. A boy and a girl. Vamos con Luis. And, and Nicole. Nicole García. Both. Luis y Nicole. Try to make a conversation around this is in. Nicole, las manitos arriba. Solo me dejan eh, abierto el micrófono. Lo mismo Luis. Manitos arriba, Luis. Ya, pero deja abierto su micrófono, pues Luis. Eso. Ya. Yeah. Ya, yeah, rapidito, Nicole. Nicole, la mano arriba. Eso. Miramos la imagen y tratamos de, de, de hablar alrededor de esto. Quien quiera puede comenzar y cualquiera puede terminar esto, ¿no? One, two, three. Hello, Lucho. Hello, Diana. Um... Eh... I like to to dancing. Mm, dancing. Okay. Uh, <laughs> mm. Que si quiero bailar. Okay. Don't use Spanish. Don't use Spanish, Luis. 
Y póngase las manitos, no necesita tenerlas así en el aire, pero por lo menos así, al lado de su, de su rostro. Ok, continue. Yes, dancing with uh, you. Continue, continue. Dicen cómo puedo decir cuál es tu música favorita para bailar. Miren la imagen. La imagen es, te invito a bailar. ¿Aceptas sí o no? En, en realidad es eso. Ah. ¿Qué música te gustaría bailar? But in English, Luis, what happens? Pero bueno, le toca a ella. Ok, continue, Nicole. ¿Puedes repetir otra vez? Yes. Repítelo tú. Si ya no saben qué decir es Thank you so much, goodbye, have a nice day See you around, etc. Goodbye <risa> Goodbye, Nicole Y me dejan pensando Porque no supe Si a la final Le aceptó el baile a, a Luis O no le aceptó el baile a Luis A Luis tenía que decir algo como Por ejemplo eh, Would you like to dance? O oh, oh, do you like dancing with me? Y Nicole say yes or no, and ta, 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 y chao, goodbye, thank you so much. Eh, también pudo decir Nicole, you are a great dancer, o you cannot dance well, lo que querían decir, a, alrededor de esto. Vamos con otras personas, y les veo de estas, ¿no? Bajan la mano para teclear en el Google, y no les voy a dejar, tienen que ver las manitos arriba. Vamos a la siguiente imagen, voluntarios tal vez. Para esta. Ok. So, two boys. One is Marcelo and the another boy is Carlos. Go. One, two, three. Cualquiera puede iniciar, cualquiera puede terminar la conversación. One, two, three. Es de dinosaurio, no le hicimos una pelea para el juguete. Yes. Marcelo, start with Carlos. Um, eh... Ay, ¿cómo era? Dicen cómo soltar. <ríe> eh, Podrías decir um, leave o give me. Oh, yeah. uh, give me the... Give me my... Give me, this is my. Continue, Marcelo. No, y the toy is my. And, and don't forget, don't you? This toy is my. Uh, and you, uh, this you is a dog. Continue, continue. Uh, uh, to press my beer and to and to you my uh, press to 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 dinosaur. Uh, Marcelo, de prestar, te presto eso, te presto. Yes. Ya yeah. se dice borrow, I borrow. Borrow. Uh -huh. I understand like an interchange. No, this is my. <laughs> Alguien tiene que ceder para terminar, si no van a estar. No, it's mine. No, it's mine. No, it's mine. Okay. Goodbye. <laughs> yes, that's it. Okay, thank you so much. Go with the next. Okay. 
Okay, this is an interesting, an interesting picture. What is happening in this? We can see a cat with uh, a human being and try to, the cat put the trash on the container. I think that uh, this is paper. Yes, this is paper. So now I need two people. Uh, it's similar from this one. Vamos a ver. Eh, sería Carla with Carla with Ronald. Try to discuss around those pictures. <laughs> okay. Try to imagine what is the cat feeling when he or it remember that is in. Esta, esto sería como. Esto se. Ay, se me fue por aquí. Esto de aquí. Esta escena sería como que un recuerdo de este gato de acá. Ok, entonces tendrían que comentar sobre, ¿te acuerdas que pasó esto? Y ah, that's it. So, um, go, start please. Carla. Ronald, do you remember that your cat used to take out the garbage. Yeah, I remember that. He was very messy. But one thing, a little bit, is not your cat. You are the cat. And you are remember that you were messy. <laughs> That's it. Okay? I am a it's a kind a it's a cat. kind of conversations between cats. <laughs> okay. Uh. The same thing, but don't say do you remember when your cat? No. When do you remember when you do you remember when you take out the garbage? Yeah, I remember. I'm crazy. Uh, your mother was very upset with you. Uh, I don't care about that, but in evening, I was with she because she was crying. crying. She, she yelled at you because she was very upset. Uh, try to finish this. You can stop. Okay. You are a crazy cat, Ronald. Yes, uh, I am. <laughs> I almost repressed. Okay, my dear students, continue with another one. Let me see. I'm sorry. Tengo el marcador aquí. Yeah, ahí está. Go with this. We need three people for this. Three. A boy, a girl, and one more. And one more. Okay, so vamos a ver um, Bianca. No, Bianca ya me participó la vez anterior. Vamos con Ad Adamaris. Adamaris, you are going to be the girl. Eh, vamos por acá, vamos con un chico. Pues Ronald ya me participó. ¿Quién más está por aquí? A ver. Ya sería Eric. Y necesito un chico más. Vamos a ver. Eric y... y, 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 y. Mm, estoy escaso de muchachos, a ver, es que no los veo bien. No, algunos ya se ya repitieron bastante. Ángel y Ángel, Ángel será el que el que se oponga, ¿no? <ríe> Ángel será quien se oponga. So, you are going to try to 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 do this scene as real as possible, okay? So, who is going to start? Um, Remember that you are 
you are uh, being married each other, you are in the church, try to make something like the vows, como que si estuvieran diciendo sus votos y alguien les va a interrumpir, ¿ya? Quien va a interrumpir sería eh, joven Sibambe. Entonces comenzamos con Adamaris y ¿a quién le dije la otra persona? Y Eric. Ok, one, two, three. Uh, yes, uh, I accept uh, married with uh, Laura Farquhar. <laughs> and I accept to be your husband. I oppose uh, that you can get married. Why? Uh, why you are my love, uh, you love for my life forever. Who is uh, that guy? But I love so much, I love Farquaad. <laughs> but I love you very, very much. I I don't love with I love I don't love you. You can't get married, please, please, please. <laughs> no. <laughs> bye bye. <laughs> okay, Eric. Eric is like a uh, what? <laughs> what is happening? <laughs> okay, okay, my dear students, really funny. I, I, we are going to finish with one more uh, activity. And this is a conversation between a dog and a cat. A deep conversation. What is a deep conversation? Una conversación profunda. Se están diciendo algo el uno al otro. Imagine qué podrá ser. Qué están diciendo. So, uh, here we are going to have two people. Ahí sí nos vamos con... Uh, mm, con Alanis y Keira. Alanis y Keira. Okay. So Alanis, you want to be the the dog or the cat? Alanis. ¿Sí me escucha Alanis o no me escucha? Ah, ya, yeah. Lenice está sin, sin el audio disponible. Entonces vamos con Damaris, ¿ya? Yeah? Damaris, uh, do you want to be the cat? Yes, a Damaris. Yes. Perdón, Damaris. Ya. Yeah. Yes. Damaris is the cat and Keira is the dog. Ok, so try to maintain a conversation really simple. Make a conversation about something, whatever you want. One, two, three. Hello, Kaya. Hello, Damaris. Uh, can I ask you something? I repeat, please. Can I ask you something? Keira, le pregunta si te puede preguntar algo. ¿Te puedo decir algo? ¿Te puedo preguntar algo? Eso es lo que te dice. Respóndele a eso. Yes. Because you are very beautiful. Very, very what? Very beautiful. Ah, very beautiful. I'm blushing. <laughs> evolution, you said? <laughs> the evolution. I, I, I listen the evolution. <laughs> okay. Continue, Damaris. I like you personality. Finish that, Keira. Keira, estás con el teclado. Eh, no me muestras las manos y 
Es que haciendo... tengo que aplastar la tecla para prender el micrófono. Ya, entonces con la otra manito, que se vea la una manito acá y bueno, con la otra. Termina esta conversación, por favor. It's a beautiful. Thanks. I like a girl. I eyes. Try to finish this, Damaris. Thank you so much. Goodbye. Thank you so much. Goodbye, Kaira. See you later. Okay, that's it. Okay, that that is the way we are going to to take um the oral lesson the next week. Okay, La, similar like this. I am going to show you the picture and you have to speak. Las personas que no me muestran sus manitos van a tener dos puntos menos en comparación a los que sí se les ve a veces, por ejemplo, como está Damaris, está frente a la cámara y se ve todo lo que, que está haciendo, ¿no? Hay algunos que como solo me muestran la parte de arriba, todo lo demás está escondido, entonces tendrían que alzar las manos. Eso solo para yo saber que no están, pues, usando el Google Traductor y no están pensando, porque si no, no hay actividad. 